In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the widgets on your site. Uh, the home page widgets are in another video for the home page, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the header widgets, the footer widgets, and the default sidebar widgets. So this is our site here, John Smith's blog. So we're going to go to the dashboard of this site, and we're going to go to the dashboard menus to Appearance Widgets. Now we're going to start with those top header widget areas. So let's scroll down, top header left, and top header right. Okay, on top header left, on this site with no IDX, we're using a text widget. So you would just drag a regular text widget to your widget area. And in this site, we're just using the short code for the agent email. So you would use the short code agent underscore email. And this pulls the email from your theme settings. Okay. Move one of those off because I've got two in there. So there's agent email. And you'll see that will pull that agent email in there. Top header right. Again, we're using another text widget. You would just drag the text widget to top header right. And we're using the short code social underscore icons. This pulls in all your social media links, again, from your equity theme settings. So let's go back to the front of the site, and you'll see there's all our social media links. Now, if your site, if you're using uh, IDX, you may want to put the IDX login and sign up links here which is what we have here on the demo. You've got login and register. So on this one, what we did is we created a custom menu. Uh, you review the video on how to create menus, and you can just use those IDX uh, pages for sign up and for login. And then you would use the, let's go to the dashboard here, to appearance widgets. Scroll down to top header left. We're using the equity custom menu widget. You would just drag that equity custom menu widget there. And then you would select the custom menu that you've set up. We've got one set up already called top header left that's used those uh, login and register links. So you put that there. Now that menu, pull up that menu real quick. Top header left. Okay, log in and register. And you can just do that from your IDX pages. Once you have your IDX installed, you can use the user login and user sign up and just add those to the menu. And that will be displayed there in that top header left. Now, <clears throat> the top header right. Even if you're using IDX, we've got that set up again to use the social icons with the short code social underscore icons. Now for the primary sidebar, on the one with IDX, you'll probably want the IDX quick search. And again, this is an equity widget. You can select a custom city list or you use a default list and set it to vertical. Uh, on the demo here, we've also got a property carousel for featured properties and the equity featured listing scroller. So if we go to the front of the site, the IDX, and let's go to a page that has the sidebar, you'll see we've got the IDX carousel. Remember the equity IDX carousel, the equity IDX quick search, and the equity listing scroller, and this is using the uh, WP listings. Now on our site without IDX, we've got a default sidebar that's got search, recent post. Again, you just drag these widgets from your available widgets. This one also has the featured listing scroller for the WP listings. We're going to add the WP listing search to this. So we're going to drag this up. Okay, 
all the way to the top of our default sidebar there. And we're going to call this uh, property search. And let's see, status, no, locations, property types, features. Uh, if we had bedrooms and bathrooms set up, we could select those fields as well. Um, we can change the button text. Now remember, this is just for the WP listing. So if we go back to this site, you'll see we've got our property search for the WP listings. We've got the regular site search, the WordPress search. We've got the recent post widget, recent comments, archive categories, and the WP listings uh, scroller as well. Uh, you can use any widgets you want in these areas. Um, this is just what we have on the demos. Um, now we need to set up the footer. Uh, so we go down to the footer. We've got three footer widgets here. And I believe they're the same on both, whether we're using IDX or not. Yeah. So let's go to widgets here. And those footer widgets, it depends on how many widget areas you set up in your customizer. Uh, if you go to the customized video, you'll see that you can set the number of widgets in your footer. The default is three, but you can change that to four or one or two. But like I said, the default is three. So in this footer, the first one thing we have is just a plain text widget where you can give it a title and put in some information about yourself. It accepts plain text or HTML. In the second footer widget area, we're using a custom menu for our communities. And again, you have to set up that custom menu at appearance menus, and then you just select it here. Footer 3, we're using another text widget. Uh, we put in some text. Again, you can put in HTML. And we're using our short codes from our equity theme settings, our agent email, our agent phone, and our social icons. So if we go back to the front, you'll see there's our text widget with the about agent. There's our custom menu with the communities. And there's our contact information. There's the text we put in and the short codes below that, the agent email, agent phone, and social icons. So that's how you set up the header, footer, and sidebar widgets in Curb Appeal.